Now, as JavaScript continues to evolve, more uses for the language are created almost daily, it seems, right? Not only is it used in websites these days, but you'll find server, desktop, and mobile applications built with the language as well. You'll also find that JavaScript can be used to control electronic components and various devices using frameworks like Johnny5 and Cylon.js. Now how this course fits in the overall picture is that it serves as a foundational piece for your electronic or robotic projects where you might want to use JavaScript as a language of choice for controlling your hardware. Now in order to use JavaScript in your projects, you will need to install a key component called Node.js. Now Node was introduced back in 2009 as a cross-platform runtime environment built on top of Google's V8 JavaScript engine. If you're not familiar with the V8 engine, it's what Google uses in its Chrome web browser to compile JavaScript code into native machine code. Now what all this essentially means for you is that you can install Node on Windows, Linux, OS X, etc. and use it to run JavaScript applications on any of these platforms outside of a web browser. Now I'll show you a couple of simple examples of how to use Node at the end of this course, but if you want more information on Node in the meantime, I encourage you to check out its website at nodejs.org. And I'll just go ahead and load up a web browser here to give you a quick overview of the site. If you're just starting out with Node, one particular area of interest will probably be the Docs section where you can find an overview of the Node API as well as find some guides on how to use Node in different situations. And in addition to the documentation, you'll find some installers for a number of different platforms such as Windows, OS X, Linux, and if you even scroll down a bit, you'll find a Docker image as well if you need it. Now you may be tempted to download the binaries here for your Pi, and you can certainly go about installing Node that way if you want, but I will show you a different way to get Node up and running on your Pi throughout the remainder of this course. Now in order to take full advantage of Node, you'll want to use NPM, or the Node Package Manager, to install various JavaScript libraries and frameworks for your projects. When you install Node.js, whether it be on your PC, Mac, or even your Raspberry Pi here, NPM should be included, so you shouldn't have to worry about installing it separately. You can browse the NPM repository at npmjs.com and you'll find that there are numerous packages available for anything from creating your own JavaScript web server using Express.js to working with electronic components using the Johnny5 or Cylon.js frameworks I mentioned earlier. And I'll just scroll down here a little bit to show you some of the more popular packages people install. And of course these don't even scratch the surface with the number of packages available, so I certainly encourage you to explore the repository by utilizing the search function at the top. And as a quick example, I'll just punch in Raspberry Pi. And you can see here a listing of different packages that can be useful for your Raspberry Pi projects, such as working with LEDs, integrating with the Jenkins build server, maybe even using a camera here, all kinds of good stuff. And I'll just click on one of them here. And here you can see the description of the package, which was also listed on the results page, how to install it, and even some examples of how to use it in your own project. Now of course, in addition to installing and using the packages available here, if you want to create and distribute your own NPM packages to share with the world, you can certainly do so as well. Their documentation section is chock full of information on how to do that, as well as general information on how to work with NPM and the packages in the repository.